Hey, this is yours truly. Uh, first video I've made in a very long time. You know, my computer went to shit. Uh, and uh, life happened, the house flooded, a lot of crazy shit happened. So I wasn't able to make videos for a long time. But I was following up with pretty much uh, everything that's been happening thus far. And this is just a recap of it. And really, I want to talk about social justice warriors. Uh... And uh, uh, how and Gamergate and Donald Trump. But, uh, where do I begin? When you look at the social justice warrior, and you you, you look at this election, you think, well, uh, Donald Trump went against all odds, and he still won. How did he do it? Well, he, uh, well, I believe the, the social justice warrior. And it goes a little deeper. It's first off. Uh, the way you look at social justice warriors, it's obvious at this point that these people are being indoctrinated by their by their college professors. Uh, the only question is to why are they being indoctrinated? To simply spread social justice, just to, just for social justice sake? I don't think so. I think the reason why social justice exists for the sole purpose of promoting globalism. Not by like, hey, did you hear about globalism? I think it's great. Um, I do, th I mean, like you look at, you know, like Bob Chipman and Anita Sarkeesian, a lot of those people, those prominent annoyances in Gamergate, I would imagine a lot of them support globalism, as probably all of them supported Britain staying in the EU. Um, social justice warriors are basically trained to put great emphasis on the most meaningless, nonsensical crap you could ever th possibly think. I mean, even now in 2016, I'm reading an article where they're still complaining about Mario. Once again, they complain about nonsense. They, go, they infect every single facet of entertainment, hobbies, you know, video games. Uh, comic books, literature, science fiction, films, you know, you, you know, everything, you know, for the sole purpose of spreading their social justice. And what it does, at least what it did when Gamergate first started, you know, it, it was good that we were fighting against it, but I think it was having a lot of people distracted from, you know, I mean, it, it, People weren't distracted for that long. I just think that their intention was, you know, get everyone bickering, arguing with the social justice warriors, and just turn as many people into social justice warriors as we can. Because the social justice warriors themselves, they will blindly vote for anyone based on identity politics. The, the progressive stack, you know. Which is, you know, what I believe the case was with Hillary. Hillary is so corrupt that you would have to be deaf, dumb, and blind to just ignore all of this corruption. And, you know, that is the social justice warrior. They live in an echo chamber. If what you're saying uh, doesn't bode well with their echo chamber, they ain't trying to hear it. It'll go one ear and out the other. You know, I mean, like, you, you look how the media just blatantly colluded with Hillary. And uh, you see how the woman clearly had health issues. And the media just called everyone a sexist for bringing it up, even though, you know, the media itself was constantly bringing up John McCain's poor health when he was running uh, back in the day. So, you know, that kind of hypocrisy is just, it's ridiculous. It's like, you're still going to lie? Like, it's, it, <laughs> the media, to me, they were like... Uh, Danny DeVito and Matilda, like even after he gets exposed for trying to sell people bullshit cars, he still tries to sell the car, you know, <laughs> it's, that's kind of how I saw that, but my, I kind of lost interest in Gamergate because when I started seeing social justice warriors infect colleges and you hear stories about, you know, prestigious universities like Yale uh, where kids, you know, I mean, you might as well call them kids at this point, you know, these students, they get triggered because of something stupid, and then they have to retreat, and they have, like, rooms where there's, like, stuffed animals and, and videotapes of puppies running around. Like, like, what is this stuff? 
Like, this is nonsense. And, but the reason why I think he helped us win the election is for the entirety of Gamergate, it was just us versus them. The media was not on our side, and the world at large could give a fuck about gamers. Who cares? Games are for children, you know, as uh, that one guy said. But eventually, when it came time for election season, the, all the social justice warriors went out to vote, you know, and uh, they went out to support their candidate. Now, when Trump supporters wanted to support their candidate, they went to Trump rallies. They bought Make America Great Again hats and uh, Hillary Clinton for prison t-shirts, you know. When the Hillary supporters, you know, the, uh, when, when they wanted to support their candidate, they would go to Trump rallies and harass everyone. I mean, they were, like, attacking children. They were spitting on women. They were beating up homeless women. I mean, they were just, if you supported Trump, you was going to get it. They don't give a fuck who you is or where you came from. They would just harass the fuck out of you. And the thing I don't get is, like, do they not know that they're on camera and that these videos are getting millions of views? I mean, every day I woke up and there's, like, there's a new meme. There's Carl the Cuck and there's AIDS Skrillex and Triggly Puff. And it's, like, they have no self-awareness whatsoever, do they? They have no idea how they come off to the rest of the world. But this is a good thing because, you know, when I see the... Uh, the social justice warriors attacking the homeless black woman who is trying to stop people from defacing Trump's star, I'm just sitting there, thank you, Jesus! Thank you, Jesus! Because now it's not just Gamergate, you know, fighting social justice warriors. The whole world sees these animals running around in the fucking streets just, like, they're insane. The whole world... Like, fucking South Park is making fun of them. Joe Rogan, like, like it has become mainstream. It's not just those annoying people on the internet anymore. Like, the whole world got a good whiff of the social justice, and they said, I'll pass. Hell no, I'll pass. But like I said, you know, they're here to distract you from globalism. While you and I can look at what at the horror that is going on in Europe, in Sweden and in Germany and in France and in all these places, it, 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 I'm looking at this shit. I, it's like a goddamn uh, 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 some Stanley Kubrick movie or something. I'm like, what the hell is going on here? They're sitting there. Oh, you know, the refugee, refugee, welcome. And I'm like, uh, uh, those don't. Like, where are all the women and children? Why all these women have beards and Adam's apples? Where are the women and children? And then you start hearing all these stories of these, all these gang rapes and, and, and just, just horrific and child rapes and they're raping children in swimming pools. And, and what does the government do? Oh, well, you know, just uh, we'll like, draw cartoons or something to try to teach them how to, you know, not rape people. And, of course, the social justice masses, they are blind to all of this. All of it. And then when it's staring them in the face, and they can't ignore it anymore, they will just, you know, they will just act as useful idiots, you know, Muslim apologists, and just make excuses for everything these people do. Every terrorist attack, every rape, every murder, the no-go zones, it don't, whatever they do, you will find a social justice warrior with a refugee welcome sign defending this barbarism. Now, I'm not saying every Muslim is like a, is a you know, no. I'm just saying that if you really wanted to help these refugees, it would make more sense to just bring the women and children over, and that's it. The men have to go and fight their war, or whatever the fuck, you know. But there's all this evidence staring you in the face that these immigration policies, as they're being implemented, clearly don't work and they should change. But the government just sits back and lets it happen. And the, these, all these crimes are just excused. So I'm sitting there going, oh my god, this is insane. Uh, what happens if Hillary gets elected? I, I, I've heard her say several times that she, uh, she thinks, that, you know, she looks at these immigration policies and says, that, that's great. I want to do that, but with a 500% increase. 
oh, so you want to just open our borders to whoever wants to come in? When our government has already said we don't know how to vet these people? Um, that doesn't sound like a good idea. But then it all makes sense now. The social justice warriors, they don't see any of this. They don't see none of it. You can show them statistics. It don't matter where they come from. You can show them statistics from The Guardian or Breitbart. They will reject anything and everything that goes against their, you know, their narrative. This goes against the narrative, so they ignore it. The only, and most of them don't even know this is going on. Most of them don't even, look, I, I guarantee you most of the people who voted for Hillary had no idea that she wanted to pop it off for Russia. They ain't got a clue. Only thing they know is Donald Trump grabs people by the pussy. That's all they know. They don't know nothing other than that. That's what they know. Donald Trump grabs people's pussies, and he's supported by the KKK, even though Hillary Clinton was best friends with the guy who was in the KKK. Who's that? It doesn't matter. Nothing Hillary does matters to these people. They are more focused on Mario being a misogynist, on Bayonetta's tits, on made-up pronouns that people don't want to pronounce. Like, this is what they care about. I mean, look at the election. They're, Bernie Sanders is just, he's, he, he desperately, he desperately wanted to, you know, get these people on their side. What do they do? No, this is the progressive stack, Bernie. You're a fucking white male. We get to talk first. Give me the mic or we going to shut it down. Well, uh, we would be happy to let you speak if you would just let, you know, Bernie finish. No, blah, 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 blah. You know, th- they have no idea. They have no fucking idea how this makes them look. And, you know, the whole world gets a good whiff, and they say, oh, and, 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 and these are the Hillary supporters? Now, I'm not saying, once again, I'm not saying every Hillary supporter is a social justice warrior. But the thing is, social justice warriors have a knack of uh, making themselves appear to be the only ones in the room. They're, they're the ones who scream the loudest. They're the ones that everyone sees. No one is seeing the rational, normal liberals anymore. When people think liberal, they think social justice warrior. They don't think what liberal used to be. And, you know, like I predicted, you know, people had enough of this PC crap. It was enough. And they said, we'll vote for Trump over this shit. We don't give a fuck. And besides, he's the better candidate anyway. Which, once again, when you talk about the social justice warriors being distracted and not really caring about all of Hillary's corruption, it's like... Look at the Clinton Foundation. Look at all the people who were... uh, Look at her financial contributors. The people who were were giving all this money. You know, it's all these banks. All these corporates. It's it's Wall Street. I'm like, weren't you the same uh, social justice warriors on this Colbert report because you were trying to fight Wall Street and now you're voting for Wall Street? Like, you've been had. You've been duped. But, you know, they just, they don't see it. They, all they see is Donald Trump uh, grabs people's pussies. That's all they see. They don't see anything Hillary's doing. They don't see the war she wants to start. They don't see the TTP that they were trying to get popped off. They don't see none of that. All they see is, you know, Donald Trump is a Nazi, and if you vote for him, he will bring back slavery. He will, uh, he will exterminate the Jews. He will uh, round up all the Muslims. He gonna send the Mexicans back to Mexico. Like, like, like this, is, this is what they know. They don't know nothing else. They don't see anything else. They don't want to see anything else. And I say, I say it's great because you, I mean, I don't know how Trump would have won without these people. I'm not mad at social justice warriors anymore. Now I just like to laugh at them. There's, at this point, there are just, just, just months worth of, of just social justice compilation cringe montages. It, it is the whole world is, is slowly being red-pilled on these maniacs. And all of this kind of, I think, opened up a lot of people's eyes to the threat of globalism. I mean, you know, when, I, when Brexit first started, it's like, holy shit, like, this European Union is very undemocratic. And it's like, but the best part that the social justice warriors did after they, after they lost, they, I'm like, what were they thinking? What was the left thinking? Let's... 
fucking send death threats to the co- to the electoral college and then when that doesn't work the democratic <laughs> the dnc itself will threaten to throw them in prison yeah you know uh if you you know maybe uh, you vote for me maybe i'll throw you in prison <laughs> like what did they think was going to happen like, are they that, you know, well, that, that, like I said, they have no self-awareness to speak of. In one ear, out the other. I'm reading all these articles from liberals who are awake going, guys, okay, we have to stop with the identity politics. It needs to, it's time to stop. No, it, we've just gotten started. Time to stop. Are you kidding me? They will be on this identity politics, this progressive stack, forever. Donald Trump will be president forever. What? That's not possible. Yes, it is. I'll explain in a minute. Now, after they, uh, the Electoral College scam didn't work, and Trump is officially the president, um, you would think maybe now they would stop? Maybe now they would kind of calm it down try to rethink things, maybe this social justice thing, maybe attacking everyone everywhere and calling them racists and misogynists and bigots simply for disagreeing with us on even the slightest, even the slightest disagreement. Maybe we should stop. No. They went MTV. They couldn't help themselves. Hey, you fucking white males, you fucking pieces of shit, could you try to be a little better in 2017? Could you just try to have no pride in your culture whatsoever? Can we just take that Christmas tree and just burn it? Can we burn the Christmas tree? Can you not say Christmas anymore? Can, can, can you just admit that blue lives don't matter because cops aren't people? They don't have blue skin. Ha 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 ha. Can you stop saying woke? Can you just stop? Can we just have white genocide? Can you white people just listen and believe what we tell you? Ha, ha, ha. I'm, I'm uh, the social justice. Thank you. Thank you, Jesus, for social justice. Thank you, Jesus. Donald Trump will be the president forever. How? The man you know and I know is Donald J. Trump. He will be president for anywhere between four to eight years if he's not assassinated. But Donald Trump, the anti-PC demon that's going to gas the Jews and, and bring back slavery... He will be president forever because no one is going to vote for anything that social justice warriors want because they're insane. They're insane.